I'm Dr. Jyoti Devan from Jaipuria Institute of Management, Lucknow, and I'm here to talk about the various forms of entrepreneurship. First, let's look at traditional entrepreneurship. It is driven by profit and growth. These ventures often focus on scaling up quickly. A special insight for students would be to think big, think scale. What could you offer that would be game changing? An example would be Reliance Geo. Mukesh Ambani didn't just launch another telecom company. Jio democratized internet access for millions of Indians, making data affordable for everyone. It's a prime example of traditional entrepreneurship driving mass adoption. So here we focus, often focus on scale and growth. Intrapreneurship or corporate entrepreneurship refers to the practice of fostering innovation and entrepreneurial behavior within an existing organization, allowing employees to act like entrepreneurs while leveraging the company's resources. The key features here would be innovation focus, resource utilization, risk management and employee empowerment. Example would be Wipro's work integrated learning program, green entrepreneurship. This can be described as a sustainable venture focused on reducing environmental impact and promoting eco-friendly solutions. A suitable example would be Zunroof, a startup in India's clean energy space helping households adopt solar power by offering cost-effective and solar panel solutions. The venture is helping India meet its green energy goals while generating local jobs. Another aspect of entrepreneurship would be social entrepreneurship, which involves creating ventures that aim to solve social issues like poverty, education or healthcare. A suitable example would be Goonj, an NGO that treats urban waste or surplus as a resource and addresses rural development challenges by recycling materials. Goonj is a prime example of social entrepreneurship rooted in addressing both urban and rural needs. Let's now take a look at cultural entrepreneurship. They are ventures focused on preserving, promoting or innovating within cultural industries such as art, heritage or tourism. An example would be the popular brand Fab India, a brand that has not only preserved Indian artisanal traditions but has brought them to global market empowering rural artisans and promoting handloom and handicraft industries. Another aspect of entrepreneurship would be agripreneurship. These are ventures in the agricultural sector, often focused on innovating farming techniques, increasing yield or building efficient supply chains. An example would be Ninja Cart, a B2B agritech startup that is revolutionizing India's farm to market supply chain, reducing food waste and ensuring better prices for farmers. Let's now take a look at the getting popular, very fast digital entrepreneurship, which leverages digital platforms, tools and technologies to create online businesses. Zomato would be a leading example. It's a food delivery and restaurant discovery platform in India. Zomato started as a restaurant review platform and evolved into a full-fledged food delivery service. Women entrepreneurship is really helping to solve the problems of women. These are women-led businesses that empower women economically and challenge traditional gender roles in business. Shiro's, a woman-only social network, focuses on supporting women entrepreneurs by offering community, mentorship and business opportunity. These were just a few examples. Let's now look at some other evolving aspects of entrepreneurship. There is the edupreneur, which focuses on education, the techpreneur, which focuses on technology and converting it into businesses, the healthpreneur, which creates solutions in the area of healthcare, ecopreneur, which creates ecology-based solutions, the fintech entrepreneur, which fuses finance with technology to create new domains of business, the foodpreneur who focuses, who focuses on uh, using food as a technique for building business and creating jobs. The artpreneur whose area of work is art and culture. The travelpreneur where the businesses are based on tours and travels. The contentpreneur 
where businesses are based on creating content. The urbanpreneur who works on smart cities and improving the circumstances in urban cities. The culturalpreneur who works on preserving culture. The remotepreneur who operates businesses from a distance. And the fashionpreneur who works on fashion, fuses fashion and technology to create new solutions to make people look and feel good. That's all for today. Thank you.